Hey guys, Keith Norris, Efficient Exercise here, getting ready to dive into a workout here in just a second. Thought I'd draw up some stuff here. This is what goes on in my sick little head before I work out. Um, so what I've got going here today, I'll kind of get into the history of how I got here. Today I want to work weighted dips, and I'm going to auto-regulate those dips. Now, what brought me to this point today is, is a big reason behind why I auto-regulate. So Sunday, I sprinted. Monday, I had a very, very hard uh, fixie ride. Both of those was in the heat, took a lot out of me. I came in um, Tuesday and did a auto-regulated uh, trap bar deadlift series. That took a lot out of me. Then yesterday, in my infinite wisdom, I thought, well, I kind of back off a little bit, do a volume day, did squats in chins, superset, uh, 10 sets of 10, and woke up this morning a little bit sore. So today, I do want to work out. I do want to hit weighted dips, and I'm going to auto-regulate these dips, but I've also added some other exercises in here to support this exercise right here. Now... If you, look at this, if you look at this chart, what my whole idea is to get the maximum amount of oomph out of this exercise. All of these other exercises here, they're important, yes, but they are in a supporting role so that I can get the most out of this exercise. Let's talk about this real quick. Speed strength continuum, rapid force development on the left side, very, very ballistic, not much power output. Going to the right, the speed strength, strength speed. These are kind of the classic Olympic lifts right here. Of course, you got the highest power output. Going more towards the strength end of things, these weighted dips. I'm going to try not to grind out my weighted dips, but real life, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm going to grind out a few of them. So I've kind of pushed this over to this side. We're going to finish off with negative dips on the ARX machine over here just to finish things off. That's pretty much pure strength right there. It's all, all negative. The weighted dips. So since my emphasis is going to be here, and I do want to auto-regulate, from past experience I know, and I look through my look through my training logs, I know that I can can hit about 90 pounds at about five repetitions, and that's a repetition range I want to stay in today, about five to seven. So that's going to be my target. My target goal here on the weighted dips is going to be 95, or excuse me, 90 pounds five reps, okay? I'm going to build up in a series of preliminary sets till I get to this point, and I'll explain that here in just a bit. I'm going to do two sets at 90 pounds. So all of this, all of this other stuff that's going on, the uh, 360 push-pull, which is a very ballistic central nervous system activation uh, movement, and the snatch grip high pull, which is going to force my pecs to relax because it's going to be the opposite movement of this. This is setting me up to shoot for this 90 pounds here at five repetitions. If I hit 90 pounds at five repetitions, I'm going to go again. I'm going to get the second set. I'm building up for two money sets here. If I hit this 90 pounds at five repetitions, I'm going to hit it again, 90 pounds, then I'm going to get another set with it, as many repetitions as I can with good form at that weight. If I happen not to hit it, I'm going to adjust the weight as necessary. Now, let's talk real quick about the lead-in uh, lead sets here. First, I'm going to come in, I'm going to do a couple body weight sets just to kind of get warm. And then, cookbook-wise, cookbook, I'm going 50%. I'm going to shoot for about 10 repetitions. Then I'm going to come in at 75%. I'm going to shoot for six. Now I'm set up for my money set here. That's cookbook. Okay. This is essentially getting out the cookbook, reading the recipe, and going by the recipe. That's not going to happen that way today. I know already it's not going to happen that way today. If you want to be a cook, you read from the cookbook. You want to be a chef. You're going to have to ad-lib a little bit here. And when we get into the workout, I'll talk about the ad-lib that's going to go on here because there will be some. This is, uh, this is essentially the ad-lib part is the chef, like my wife Michelle, who can look at a recipe, set it aside, go into the kitchen and cook, and just by taste, feel, and just 
knowing what to add, she can make the meal fantastic. That's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to be the chef of the gym. <laughs> okay, we'll be back in just a second, and we'll get into the workout. Okay, so uh, about five, six, seven, eight or so repetitions here just to get the central nervous system jammed. First set of body weight dips, I'm going to lead in with a set of 12. Christian Thibodeau would kind of call these uh, feel-out sets, and I, I kind of agree with that, with that term. That's exactly what this is. It's a warm-up and a feel, just trying to feel things out. Okay, now I'm looking for a similar opposite movement, okay? The snatch grip or the wide clean grip, ever how you want to look at it, narrow snatch grip, wide clean grip, is just about the opposite of what I've done here. My purpose here is to force my, my pecs and my triceps to relax. Work, work, force a relaxation. Go back to work, work, force relaxation. So my emphasis right now is not so much on the high pull. Again, my emphasis today is on the dips. All of this sets me up for a good, um, for a good dip. Okay, I'm looking for 50% here, 50% of my expected maximum, which is going to be five repetitions at 90 pounds. I'm shooting for 10 repetitions here. And again, we're greasing the groove. These are going to be perfect repetitions. Set me up for the final two sets. into my high pulls. I've added just a little bit of weight. Again, the high pull is not my emphasis today. I'm using it solely to set me up for the next round of dips.
Okay, I'm going 70 pounds. Okay, this is a little bit of a fudge here. The third, third set ought to be at about 75% of what my expected max is going to be. That's a little bit of a fudge there. Um, I would normally shoot for six repetitions, solid, but uh, taking into account my past four or five days, I've given myself a little bit of wiggle room here. Because again, I'm setting myself up for the final two sets. Those are what you would call the money sets. Felt amazingly okay on that one. So I take that as a good sign for the next two reps, next two sets. Okay, setting up for set number four here. I know from past experience that I can hit 90 pounds generally in the five or six range. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot for six. That's the goal I have in my mind. So I'm gonna shoot 90 for six repetitions. That's what I'm gonna shoot for. Depending on what I do here, it's gonna determine what I do on set number five. I'll either go up in weight or down in weight as a result of what I do here. If I get to six repetitions and I can go, I'm going to failure here. So if I get to six and I'm, I'm still good, my form is still good, I still got strength, I'm going. I'm just gonna keep on going until I fail. I'm not worried about set number five. I'm acting right now as if this is the all everything set. Then I'll come back and recalibrate for set number five. We'll see what I do here We'll see what happens and I'll come back and explain what I'm going to do for set number five as a result of this. Woo! You can tell the central nervous system is starting to fade a little here. It's starting to lose a little bit of pop. Okay, so set number four, I hit six plus a little bit more, okay? 
I actually did better than what I figured I was going to do here given my past few days. So pat on the back here. <laughs> okay. um, now, since I hit my target, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it the same weight for, for, I call this my gut check set right here. Okay. I'm going to keep it the same weight. I'm going to attempt to hit six repetitions again. Now, let's back up. If I, on set number four, if I had exceeded this by, say, two repetitions or so, what I would do now in set number five is add weight. And then I would shoot again for six repetitions. If I had hit four repetitions or so with this 90 pounds, then I would reduce the weight and again shoot for six. This is where the chef's part comes in. This is where, this is where you can't go by recipe. I can go by a blueprint, so I have the total setup here of what I'm looking for, but this is where the art comes into it. This is where time under the bar comes into it. This is just where general experience comes into, okay, what weight am I going to use now? Right now, today, this was a pretty easy call. I hit six plus a little bit more. I'm going to drop right down, <clears throat> excuse me, and do six again. I'm going to attempt for six again. I know by experience it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be six. There's some serious fatigue setting in right now, and I can tell uh, fatigue on my CNS activation exercise over there. I can tell I'm losing pop quite a bit here. So we'll see. We'll give it another shot for six. So here we go. Check time. Okay, I'm going to follow this right after the high pulls. I'm going to follow this with a negative dip on the ARX machine, shooting for about three repetitions. Tells me I'm going to regret the suggestion here. <laughs> yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm uh, barely hanging in there, kind of surviving right here. So let's talk about what happened on the last last uh, set here. So I went in shooting for six with 90 pounds. I barely got six. I eked out six. Now, what's going to happen the next time I come to dips and I want to auto regulate? My ballpark figure now is going to be 90 rep or 90 pounds by six. Okay, that's my new target. Then I put I plug this back in here. It doesn't matter what uh, what stressors I had before I lead back into this. It doesn't matter what workout I did before. This is my ballpark figure. This is what I'm shooting for. I'll let the chips fall where they may, just like they did today. Just like when I as uh, I came in today with a big deadlift day behind me, a big sprint day and a big uh, fixie ride day and a volume day ahead of this. I didn't let that worry me, I, dive, I dove right in, the 90 by uh, five, six range. Okay, I did all right, I held my own today. If I keep doing this time after time after time again, what's gonna happen, ultimately, one of these days, all the conditions are gonna be right, I'm gonna hit 90 pounds and I'm gonna go, bam, up to eight or nine. It just happens like that. My goal and my job is to keep the table set and keep the door open for that opportunity. I don't know when that opportunity is going to come. I have no idea. My body is a lot smarter than I am. So I just set the table and let the chips fall where they may. I don't know when this is going to happen. Sometimes I'll hit a day like that where I make a big jump on a day like today that was preceded by a lot of effort. I would have never guessed that I would hit eight here. Sometimes it happens like that. No one can guess that. That's why auto regulation is fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I put my job is to choose a ballpark figure and then throw intensity at it and let the chips fall where they may. So you kind of see how it panned out today.